What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to episode two of Unhinged Trivia. I'm here with Pat, Tara, and the legend, Brian DeGennaro. How are you guys doing? I'm doing Great. awesome. I'm excited to win I'm another round of Unhinged Trivia. I'm so insulted that you actually called Brian a legend. You just called me Tara and Pat. Nah, well, you, well, I'm fine with Pat, it. You'll be a legend, but that's when you okay. get to legendary status like me, that's when you're called <laughs> legend. Brian's okay, a legend right. with no wins. <laughs> We've only had one episode. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm still unhinged. the champ. All Brian right, so inch with tardiness. <laughs> he does. So the order we have today is Para, Pat, and then Brian. Same rules as last time. Can't steal. You can't earn half credit for points. Final question is worth. This time as well, up to six points. And yeah, let's get the show on the road. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's right. go. Really well, guys. Let's go. Tara, you're up. I'm scared, so I'm going to start off easy. How many MVPs Ooh. did Barry Bonds win in a row? Was it two? No. Ooh, got an easy one, Rolling Day. Anyone? Well, well the answer one. was four. I was four in a row. He's the goat. I would have never guessed that, to be honest. That's yeah. Give me a hard one. You want a hard one? Okay. Yeah. In 2002, the Oakland A's swept the big awards, meaning that they had the MVP of the league and the Cy yeah. Young. Who are they? Was it Giambi? <laughs> what? Giambi didn't win MVP? Well... Not in 2002. He was only Yankees at that point, wasn't he? Came he came second in MVP. I think it was in 2003. What did um did Isringhausen win Cy Young? No. Wow. Okay. That's it was Miguel Tejada and Barry Zito. I was gonna say wow. Barry Zito. Wow. Ah, yes. Nice. Was that, was Giambi was on the Yankees at that point? No. Giambi. I thought yeah, he came I, in 2003. I thought he was. Yeah, I think one. it was 2003. He won. He won. Um, oh, okay. He won MVP in uh, 2000. I didn't know Tejada won MVP. That's yeah, he did. And then he got busted for steroids a couple years later. Wow. I mean, Who didn't? <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> All right. Brian, you're up. All right, give me a hard one. Okay. So when I get it wrong, I don't feel bad. <laughs> Two Giants won MVPs in the decade of the 2000s. Uh, Barry Bonds, we know, was one of them. Who was the yeah, other? That's what I was going to say. Who was on the Giants? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Uh, nah, I don't know. Wait, before you give the answer, this is from between 2000 and 2009, right? Yep. What position did you play? Buster Posey? Wasn't Posey. Um, Posey I was going to say Posey. I think Posey won in 2010. Or no, no, well, Bottle won in 2010. Uh, well, well, he's an infielder. I believe he was a second, second or third baseman. But in the infield. Bonds finished in second that year. Oh, it was uh, Kent. Yep, Jeff Kent. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Never so we all put up a goose egg that round. We all put up a goose egg. All right. All of us are going to average one point. Each all right, Parry, you're up. <laughs> all right. Let's give you a medium. All right. Who led the decade in homers? That's a good question. Oh, I think I know the answer. Is it oh, A-Rod? I want to steal it. It I is A Rod. Damn it, nice. I was the, knew it. Nice. I put that question because I was going to think people would be like, oh, Barry Bonds. No, nah, he wasn't around long enough. I kind of hate you guys right. for next week's trivia. That was going to be one of my questions for next week. Damn. Give me a hard one. Okay. Four pitchers won World Series MVPs. Name them all. And I'll give you, I'll give you a hint. Uh-huh. Two of them shared it. What? Four pitchers won World Series MVPs. Mm-hmm. What do you mean in the two 2000s, of like they both tied. Yeah, so one year, um, you had co MVPs. Was Rivera one of them? No. <laughs> what was he um, World Series MVP in 09? No, no. 09 was Monster. There you go. Exactly. But also, you could have gotten two. I know, but it could have been 2000 or 2001. Oh, that's right, 2000. I mean, not 2001. That's technically part of the decade. Um. Josh Beckett, one of them? Yeah. Um, if you get one more, I'll give you half. I'll give you a point and a half because it's a hard question. Wainwright? 
Hold on, before you give the answer, I want to think about it. He's got, I think you, I'll give you one more guess. Damn, this is a tough one. Oh, I have an, I have a guess. Oh. Kurt Schilling? Yeah. yeah. Okay, solid. All right, so I'll give you I'll give you a point and a half for that. Um, Before you say, wasn't Schilling and Randy Johnson co MVPs when? They yep, co MVP in two thousand one. What about um? Who's the fourth one? Nah, I don't know. Cole Hamels. Oh, two thousand eight. Okay, two thousand eight. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All right, Brian, you're up. Another hard one. Okay. Back down from a challenge. So, in I forgot what year, I think it was 2004, Barry Bonds set the single season record for highest on base percentage. <laughs> I'll give you, if you can get roughly around it, I'll give you the, the three points for it. What was it, though? For his on base percentage. Yeah, record breaking. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> you know what? I mean, it's gotta be like around 700. I don't think it's that high. No, it's not that Is high. Is it not? It's not that high. Oh, no, that was... No one's ever hit 700. I'll give you another guess, though, because this is a kind of vague question. I don't know, maybe around 500? <laughs> no. The, um, mm. Anyone have an actual answer? 600. <laughs> Six, uh, point six zero nine. Oh, I wasn't that far off. <laughs> You yeah, said 500. You said must 700. Have been over 700. No, it must have been. Over I, have, I said 700, and I said 500. It was right in the middle. Right in the middle. All right, Brian, hold the zero. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't mean that I should get the point, but you shouldn't be ridiculing <laughs> me for it. Honestly, that's what is on base percentage was in 2004. Are you fucking kidding me with that? That should be an extra hard question. I should get a. I should get a point just for getting. I said look up. I said just familiarize yourself with Barry Bonds and memorize his stat line. Well, I think if you saw someone that had a 609 on base, that's hey, hey, Brandon's the host. (laughs) What is going on? Whatever you had, bro. (laughs) Oh yeah, Brian's got nothing to lose. I have a big goose egg. So all right, Para, you're up. I'll take another meeting. Okay. Um. In 2004, Ichiro broke the single season hits record. Uh, plus or minus five hits. Give me what you think it is. That's a good question. Much harder than last week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you just repeat the question? I'm sorry. Yeah. So in 2004, Ichiro broke the single season hits record. So I'll give you plus or minus five hits. So if you get it in that range, I'll give you the points. How many hits did he have that season? Wasn't it 265? I'll give you the points. It was 262, but I'll give you the points. Did I give you plus or minus? Was that easy or medium? That was a medium. So he gets two prime, points. I actually saw prime that Ichiro when I was looking up a like, before. Oh, Ichiro was insane. Prime Ichiro is like one of my favorite players of all time. You still all right. freaking love him. Give me another hard one. <clears throat> Hope you paid attention to the video I played before. In 2002, Bonds hit a massive home run in the World Series. After the home run, it cut to a clip of an Angels player saying something. What did really, he say? Really? Yep. I mean, you should know it. It's Didn't like, he say something like that? Yeah, you that's should the, know this. How do you? That's <laughs> that's the furthest ball I've ever seen hit, or something. You got it on. You've got it on the dot. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what do I get? Three suck. points for that? Yeah. Nice. You guys suck. So who's in the lead right now? So right now. Pat's in the lead uh, by half a point. Wow. How far behind am I? Uh, by four and a half. You, I don't even think you have a point yet. <laughs> it's all right, Brian. I'll take a Gain medium. You'll take a medium? Okay. Um, two perfect games were thrown. Who threw them? God. Uh, was Randy Johnson one of them? Correct. There you go. And the other would be Halliday? No, his was in 2010, no 2011. He threw a he threw a no hitter though. He did throw a no hitter in the postseason. Uh, the second perfect game was Mark Burley. Oh, I think Brian guessed Burley last week. Yeah, but I'll give you a point yeah. for it. I'll give you a point for uh jump Randy Johnson. on the board. Nice, Brian. Okay, proud of you. Thank you. Power your off to me. <laughs> um, you've been easy. Okay. Which team led the decade in wins? Oh. Ah, oh. the Yankees. Correct. <laughs> you had the same question last week. I know. Well, it, it's hard because I'm not gonna. 
if I did like award questions, that would be a lot harder. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, a lot me, harder than um, the exact stat line from 2004. Give me another I mean, hard one. This is the last hard one. And Para's going to kick himself for not uh, picking hard because it is who did Bonds Homer off of for 756? <laughs> I know this. No, <laughs> I know this. Can't steal. Oh, bro, I hate you. I hate you. The only hard one. Uh, just remember the name. He has no clue. Para. <laughs> Pitch for the Washington Nationals. His last name was Basic. Yep, Mike Basic. Yeah, I would have never guessed that. So. Never yeah. even heard. I was of hoping him. Power was going to get the last hard question. <laughs> yeah. I want the All right, I'm glad he didn't. Scared. Brian, you're up. Uh, I'll take another medium. All right. All right. In 2004, Gary Sheffield, as we know, finished in second second in MVP voting. Who won it that year? 2004. Yeah. AL MVP, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are tough. 2004 AL MVP. Uh, I don't know. You, you want to just take any random guess? David okay, Ortiz. No. <laughs> Gloss? No, it was um, Vladimir. Vladimir Guerrero. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, I yeah. forgot he was. He was an angel. He was on the Angels at that point. Yep. It's all right, Brian. You're still at one point. I got. Yeah, I'm on the. As long as I, I got. <laughs> You're up on the board. Good to, I'm and good to go. So I can relax the rest of the with night. With the score check, we got Paris in the lead with five. Pat has four and a half, and Brian has one. Nice. This is on the board. Doing, basically, where we expected it to be. <laughs> All right, we have two medium questions left and then five easy questions left. Let me guess, Para's going to go with an easy one. No, I'm going to go medium. Medium? Okay. Ah. It's this is a really hard one, but I think you'll be able to get it. How hard Only it one be? reliever, and I'll get, it was in the National League. For, the last, for that decade, 2000-2009, only one reliever won a Cy Young. He was in the National League. He was a closer. I'll give you that. He actually was the last closer to win an MVP. I want to go with Kimbrough. No. Trevor Hoffman. Nope. That's what I was going to say. Eric Gagne. Oh, oh, I forgot about Gagne. Damn. Did he win it with the Dodgers? Yep. Yeah, All right, give me, uh, give me medium. All right, who led the decade in strikeouts? I'm so over these questions. Wait, pitcher or, pitcher or batter? Pitcher. Okay. Well, you didn't specify. Uh, <laughs> uh, decade in strike. Who's the most dominant pitcher of the generation? Uh. Blah, 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 blah. I was not. Um, hmm. Fuck it, go for it. Hmm. 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 Um, Randy Johnson. Correct. Wow. wow. That's what I would have guessed. Mm. <laughs> he, takes, he takes the lead. I was th- I was thinking Randy, but I'm like maybe yes. not because he kind of wound wound down towards the end of the decade. But I guess so. Uh, he was just so dominant, though. He was. In the, he, the threw, he threw his perfect game when he was in his forties. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, now all we have left are easy questions. I'll take an easy one. All right. <laughs> Which player did Adam Wainwright strike out looking to send the Cardinals to the World oh, Series? I know this one. You can't uh, be shitting me. You, no, you everyone should know this. Honestly, everyone don't know. know this. You should. Everyone know knows this, Brian. It makes Mets fans hate him for the rest. And he of gave him a massive hint. That okay? If you can't get it after the hint, then uh, David uh, Wright. No, no, Bell- no, no, no. Uh, I don't fucking know. Like, Everyone flex. knows that because that's why Mets fans are like always oh, gonna look at a pitch. This Brian, time. you're the oldest out of everybody in this <laughs> chat. And you're I don't remember shit Brian. though. I know we should know that. 
We actually have. Um, Give me the next easy one, Brian. Brian. Yeah, we actually have. Uh, well, no, we're going into we the, should have the final three question left, right? now. Yeah, no, we can go to the final question now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Cool. All right, this is a really hard one, but I. I so wait, let me review the scores. Um, Pat's in the lead with six and a half. Para has five. Brian has one. Brian still has a chance to win this all. <laughs> if he gets all you guys Imagine don't get Brian any. wins. <laughs> but I don't think he can because you guys are guaranteed to get at least one. All right. All right, let's do it. So we all know that that, that decade, a lot of home runs were hit. Give me the top six home run leaders for that decade. Well, we know one of them. <laughs> do we? Oh, yeah, we do. And choose your answers wisely. Wait, am I texting it to you like last yeah, time? Yeah, you only get six right. guesses. I'm done. All right. Brian got two. Damn it. Damn. That's it? <laughs> Para got three. I mean, I get it. I have to double check because you're on my phone. Uh, you got three as well. Let's go. Mm-hmm. So that means. <laughs> so everyone, everyone. Row. So Para, you forgot to put Barry Bonds. <laughs> I did put Bonds. <laughs> Never mind. I'm stupid. Wait. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you still have three. Okay. The answers were A Rod, yeah. Bonds, Jim Tomei, oh, Albert Pujols. Ah, oh, Pujols. I guess Pujols. Manny Ramirez. Oh. I put Ortiz and Carlos Ramirez. Delgado. Delgado? Ah, I forgot about him. So Let, let's go through uh let's go through Patrick's uh typo. He wrote purple. <laughs> he wrote instead purple. Of Pujols. In po- yeah. Instead of Pujols. Uh, Pat's answers were Bonds, Pujols, Ryan Howard, Miguel Cabrera, and A-Rod, and then Ortiz. I'm surprised Ortiz wasn't on there. Yeah, he, he was on the list. He just wasn't in the top six. Damn. Um, Brian's was A-Rod, Bonds, Griffey, Sosa, Teixeira, and Ortiz. All right, so what's the final point breakdown here? So Paragon... I lost about half a point. Eric got three, and he had. I got really close this year, this week, guys. <laughs> I'm really disappointed. Para had in five. Myself. Para had five going into it, so three. He got eight. Pat started with six and a half, so and he got three. I think. Yeah, he got three. So Pat got nine and a half, and he wins. And Brian got two, so Brian ended with three. That's all right, it's Brian. Back so back starting. Back. Sorry. So, now that we have a uh, a baseline, we should we should have a handicap like in golf. <laughs> but like I start off with six points next week. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> about be, that, Brian. I'll probably still lose. <laughs> well, no, what I'm saying is, I have so- to say that if we were to give you six points for every single minute you're late, your points go down. Oh, that's that could be possible, Brian. So then, so if I show up on time, I get six points. Team. He's yeah. just gonna be even later now. I'll probably still show up late, honestly. But you know what? I'd like to thank you guys once again for doubting me for the second week in a row. For the second week in a row. So, Brandon, can you wrap this up now so we don't have to hear Patrick going on? For the second week in a row, I'm walking home with the Unhinged Trivia Trophy. Thank you. Everyone gets a trophy. It's a participation trophy. Uh, So, thank you guys for joining us tonight. You know, champion Patrick Hennessy once again. (laughs) I hate hate to do it to you guys. Maybe next week I'll go a little bit lighter. I'm participating uh, next week. You're screwed. We will see you guys next week.